What's up guys, welcome back to our channel. I just want to start off firstly by saying thank you to all of you, each and every one of you that have supported us and given us all your likes and helped elevate our channel. We are very, very grateful to all of you and we thank you so, so much for all of that. So here we go with part two. If you haven't already seen part one, that will be on our channel page and uh, we look forward to having you there and welcoming all your comments. And thank you so much to all of you that have reached out to us and we'd definitely love to hear more from all of you. So um, the main question that a lot of people have asked us, which I think is the elephant in the room, is what happened to the doctors? Um, what happened after the passing of our twins? And the simple answer is nothing. We did not hear from the doctors, with the exception of the gynecologist and the specialist which helped us with the RVF process, which is a video for another day. We heard nothing from them. And, um, you know, this ate us up for a very, very long time and a very difficult situation where if we took them on legally, it's their word against ours. There's no proof where the viral meningitis came from. And there was no proof that that um, was actually caused in the hospital. Although our feeling is that my wife did get this viral meningitis in the hospital just before the twins were born. And um, yeah, I think it speaks for itself with um, when I say they didn't contact us, there was absolutely nothing. And I think there was a bit of guilt, um, a bit of fear as well. Um, to the point where I feel that they thought we could have got them based on the fact where the breast milk wasn't changed quick enough or stopped rather, um, you know, in order to save Tyson's life. I think there were a lot of things that they were worried about. Um, another thing that, that always sticks in my mind is all the other babies there in the ICU center that were completely unprotected. And, um, you know, there they were lying in the same room with my son and daughter that had viral meningitis, which eventually took their lives. So I think from that point of view, they were pretty scared. Um, I hope for everybody else's sake and everybody else that they work with, that they did learn their lesson. Um, they do. It's a difficult one to say. Um, how does one learn their lesson if they haven't apologized for things? Uh, for a long time, we were very, very angry. And uh, like I said, we were wondering whether to go the legal route. Um, you, we, couldn't prove, we couldn't prove anything. And at the end of the day, it was just going to open up wounds for us. And also for their families and their friends, we, we didn't want to destroy their lives. We don't know how many people depend on these particular doctors. Um, but we do feel that um, they got a big fright. And um, there's a story that always comes to mind, and that is that if you let something eat you up inside, it will end up destroying you. Th and the story goes, there's a snake one day that slithers into a warehouse, and it sees this old wood saw, very sharp saw. Now, the snake's first instinct is to protect itself. So what does it do? It tries to strangle the saw. And as it squeezes harder, it injures itself. And it feels that it's getting hurt, so it squeezes more. And eventually, the snake lands up losing its life. And that's pretty much the moral of the story here. And if there's nothing you can really do that's not going to make a huge change, it's going to land up making you sick. And to remain angry at someone or a whole bunch of people or something isn't going to do you any good. The best that you could do is to talk about it and to try and make a change. And it's taken me six years, um, but we've found the right way, and that's this channel. And to you awesome, awesome people that have supported us and... Um, we are very, very grateful. This has truly changed our lives. Thank you all very, very much for watching. If you did enjoy this content, please consider giving us a like and a comment and subscribe. It really does help us and it helps us grow this channel as well. I will reply to each and every one of you in the comment section below. And like I always say, most importantly, always remember to be kind to others.